This talk will introduce a new paradigm for proactively helping users assess and de-escalate tension in their online discussions. Online communities often suffer from behavior that prior work has referred to with terms such as incivility. But how are such terms actually defined? It's important to bear in mind that different people will come in with different preconceived notions of what is and is not uncivil. And, as recent work has argued, it can be problematic to impose one person or group's definition of incivility on an entire community. As such, there has been growing interest in an alternative perspective which centers on community norms. The core idea is that communities must decide for themselves what kind of community they want to be, and from there, what kind of behavior they should encourage or discourage. Importantly, these norms cannot just be declared they must be actively maintained by the community. What does this process of norm maintenance actually look like? One common approach is the use of volunteer moderation, wherein volunteers from within the community will take on a leadership role of enforcing and guiding norms. A lot of prior computational work has focused on empowering these volunteer moderators. However, there is also a second perspective involved in norm maintenance, and that is the perspective of regular users. Most users in online communities are well-intentioned, in the sense that they are not out to cause trouble, they genuinely want meaningful interactions. As such, these users will try to act in ways that prevent outcomes like the comment you see below. However, despite their best efforts, even the most well-intentioned users can still succumb to norm-violating behavior. To better understand why, it might help to consider an example. Let's consider the conversation that this comment came from, which took place on a debate forum. We observe that the conversation starts as a reasonable debate, which indicates that the participants entered in good faith. Nevertheless, as the conversation develops, we start to observe rising tension in the form of repeated dismissiveness and condescension. This eventually culminates in that comment we saw earlier. This period of rising tension is of particular interest because intuitively it is a period where had things gone in a less dismissive or condescending direction, we could have gotten a very different outcome. Of course, it is one thing for us to say this with the benefit of hindsight, but hopefully you can see how in the heat of the moment, with emotions running high, such strategies might not necessarily be something that the users are actively considering. This forms the basis of our proposed proactive risk awareness paradigm, which aims to empower regular users by raising their awareness of such rising tension, thereby supplementing their existing intuitions about the future trajectories of conversations and the need for pro-social strategies. This paradigm has only recently become technically feasible via the introduction of a new class of algorithms known as conversational forecasting, which are designed to predict the future trajectory of conversations. We use these to forecast whether conversations are at risk of derailing into norm-violating behavior. Thus, our research question in this work will be how these proactive interventions improve users' conversational outcomes. We seek to explore this question in the context of an in-the-wild study in response to prior evidence that art artificial lab settings may not be adequate for fully understanding the effects of such pro-social interventions. We specifically conduct a user study on the Reddit debate forum Change My View or CMV. Like any in-the-wild study, this real-world setting will raise three core challenges, technical, ethical, and practical, which we will now discuss. First, the technical challenge. We need to implement our risk awareness paradigm in a way that's usable by regular Reddit users. Our approach is to implement it in the form of a browser extension, which we call Conwell Wizard. Conwell Wizard is designed to estimate tension in conversations using a forecasting algorithm that was trained on conversations that end in public notices from CMV community moderators regarding violations of their incivility norms. Let's take a closer look at how it works. When a user clicks reply in a CMV discussion thread, Common Wizard will first provide a context summary, which gives an estimate of tension in the preceding discussion. Then, 
as the user starts to type, Combo Wizard will provide a reply summary, which gives an estimate of how the in-progress reply, if it were to be posted, might impact the tension in the conversation. Next, let's consider the ethical challenge. The main concern is that Common Wizard, as an algorithmic tool, could suffer from flaws or misuse, which, in the worst case, could harm the broader CMV community. Now, since we have identified the community as the potentially affected party, the natural moral conclusion is that the community, deser that the community deserves a say in how the study is set up and executed. This leads us to set up our study as a collaboration, run in consultation with CMV, and we invite you to check the paper for details on how we achieved this. Finally, let's consider the practical challenge, which involves a balance between our need for controlled data and the need to motivate regular Reddit users to keep using Common Wizard throughout their everyday routine. Our approach is a two-phase study design with an uncontrolled first phase allowing for qualitative feedback in the form of a survey, followed by a second phase containing a randomized controlled experiment where the control involves not showing any interventions. Again, we leave details for the paper. Overall, participants' assessment of combo wizards was quite positive. For the sake of time, we focus here on one specific finding, which is that most participants reported that Common Wizard helped them avoid a fight and stopped them from saying something they would have regretted. Upon seeing this, a natural follow-up question is what these users did exactly to achieve such positive outcomes. To answer this, we can glean some insights from the participants' free-form responses. In these responses, we observe an emerging theme of more time spent reflecting on and revising their in-progress replies. We go on to ask whether we might be able to observe such behavior in the actual treatment versus control data. The answer is yes along three core metrics, which we will now describe at a high level, leaving details for the paper. First, looking at the raw time spent drafting comments, we find that in the treatment condition, this increases by about 9%. Second, when looking at how users respond to tense conversations, we find that their natural behavior as observed in control is for tension to increase over the course of drafting the comment. By contrast, in treatment, this trend reverses and the tension instead tends to decrease. Finally, we observe increased use of three linguistic features previously identified both by prior work and our participants as pro-social strategies. Overall, these results offer a promising initial indicator of the risk awareness paradigm's viability. That said, this technology is not yet ready for public use. In particular, future work should look into improving the transparency and explainability of such technology, better understanding its downstream effects on the rest of the community, and expanding to a more general audience pool. That said, we regard this present work as an, as an important first preliminary evidence that these proactive interventions can empower regular users to achieve the outcomes that they want for their community. Thank you very much.